Three-point lighting, what is it and how can you use it for your next shoot? I'm Sierra, a Denver Open Media intern, and welcome to Professional Three-Point Lighting. Three-point lighting is made up of, you guessed it, three points of light, all illuminating the same subject from three different angles. First, you have your key light. Second is your fill. And finally, you have your standard backlight. We'll demonstrate the three-point lighting method using a Felix 411 LED light kit. The kit includes one P360 LED light head, two P180E LED heads, three barn doors, and three seven-foot light stands. Extend the stand. Affix the light. Slide and lock the barn door onto the frame. And plug in the AC adapter. You now have three lights set and ready to go. Combine these three sources will add depth to your subject. It will sort of give your two-dimensional image a three-dimensional feel. You can also set up your lights in different ways to create unique effects, but we'll get to that later. The first light you'll use will be the key light, so set that up first. And remember, it can be bright, so warn the person before you turn it on. You can place the key anywhere, but it's most commonly set up at a 45 degree angle, relative to your subject and the camera. Next, ignite your fill. The fill essentially balances the darkness that the key creates. A second shadow should not appear after you fill the light. If one does, reduce its brightness so it doesn't outshine the key. The fill can go anywhere as long as it balances the key. But a good rule of thumb is to set up your fill on the opposite side of the key, relative to your subject. Now it's time to complete the setup with the backlight. The backlight will cast a glow around your subject's outline, separating them from your background and creating that third dimension we talked about earlier. Position the backlight behind your subject and be sure to keep it out of frame. If the backlight is too bright or too dim, it might cancel out the depth that the key light creates, so just turn it down as needed. There's also ways to get creative with this lighting. Try raising the key light so that it casts down on your subject, creating a more ominous tone for more intense scenes. Remember, three-point lighting can be used for any subject. Thank you for watching, and if you liked our video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more videos, please visit our page every other Saturday. Bye!